Siegfried Engelmann on individualizing instruction. If you look at that thing that's on the wall that has two hands and you know goes tick tock, if you look at that seriously and if you look at the number of kids in your classroom and how they are different as individuals and seriously consider the option of them, let's say this is a typical classroom, of them sort of making decisions about their learning when they're in, say, like the first, second, third grade or kindergarten around there. Um, how much time would you be able to devote to each child individually? Like, what do you have for instructional time? Maybe, you know, four and a half hours if you get lucky. Uh, four and a half hours, and how many kids do you have? Let's see, you've got 27. And how many, uh, how many subjects do you have? Well, you got your language, you got your reading, and you got your math. And so you're going to be able to devote probably uh, eight or nine minutes to each kid individually. And you probably won't be able to do it in all the subjects, but you might be able to do eight or nine in a couple of so if you're lucky. But I mean, it's a preposterous plan that the clock is your worst enemy, particularly if you're working with at-risk kids. Every time that clock ticks, oh, it goes this way, <laughs> uh, it ticks in favor of the advantaged kids and against the disadvantaged kids because they're falling farther behind. And so the main goal of effective instruction should be to use time with desperate efficiency. I mean, treat time as the most precious product you have and make sure that you're using time to teach as much as you can. You're going to group kids so that you can work with, you know, larger groups but that you're going to be able to monitor the individual progress of all the kids. You're going to make sure they're at mastery. You're not going to hold the group back for two kids. I mean, if you got a group of 12 kids and two of them are not up to speed, you're not going to judge the or change the basis for the group proceeding on the basis of these two kids. Rather, you're going to try to pick them up at some other time and make sure they can handle this group, or if they can't, place them in another group. But you are going to try to do the bestest for the mostest, and you do that throughout. That's the game. And that means you have to be efficient, you have to have good program, and you have to have good techniques and practices so that you are teaching as much to as many kids as you can every time that clock goes ticky-tock.